Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. So you found out you had cancer almost exactly one year ago. Not an experience I'm anxious to repeat. And Hank, when you got diagnosed, I was lucky enough to be able to take on a few of your 15,000 jobs. And I really enjoyed that work. Like, there was no part of you having cancer that I enjoyed, but I did like the work. So much so, in fact, that I, I seem to have gone full Hank. Wait, what's full Hank? Actually, before you tell me, we need a quick check on the weather. Have you been there the whole time? Don't Aza and Daisy look cute there? This fella's a bloomin'. These leaves are a sproutin'. And the sky is a gray and It must be April in Indiana. But about going full Hank. So I have a theory, Hank, that you and I have two overall reasons why we sometimes give a bit too much of ourselves over to work. The first is, uh, dread adrenaline. When I feel really stressed, I seek out this feeling that's somewhere between thrill and dread. You might call it the Twitter feeling. I can't pretend to fully understand it, but when I start to feel overwhelmed, I actually want to make more stuff until eventually I hit like a hard, hard wall. All right, let's take a potato break. Potato, come! That doesn't work. He's still a puppy. I just like to do it. Sit. You are a very sophisticated gentleman with your bow tie on. Yes, you are. Potato's not happy that we abandoned him after the potato section of the program. So listen, the other reason I like to make stuff when I feel overwhelmed is that I like to make stuff. People often say like, oh, it makes me, being creative makes me happy. It doesn't make me happy exactly. It just makes me feel conscious of being alive. Right. So I've been in Los Angeles for the last few days promoting the Turtles All the Way Down movie. And it's been a lot of fun. It's also pretty overwhelming to do that stuff for me. Like it's a lot of talking to strangers and whatnot. But I love the movie and I want to do whatever I can to help it. It comes out May 2nd on Max. By the way, Hank, while I was in Los Angeles, I got to see the Turtles movie with an audience of like 1400 people at the LA Times Book Festival. And it was incredible. It was just so special to feel the energy in that room and then read everybody's responses to the movie afterwards. People have been so generous about the film so far, and it's just, you know, that, that stuff is awesome. I mean, it's the opportunity of a lifetime. So yeah, that comes out on May 2nd. I'm very excited about it. But first... Right, right. So I've got a new show coming out tomorrow. It's called The Universe. It's about the universe. A while back, I read this great book by an astrophysicist called The End of Everything, Astrophysically Speaking, and I loved it so much that I wrote the author to tell them as much, and Dr. Katie Mack replied, and we struck up a friendship. And I thought this would be a fun podcast. So Dr. Mack and I have been working on that for the last couple of years, and a whole team of other people have been working on it too to make it look so pretty and cool. Like here's just a little sample. I'll start with the Big Bang Theory. We are gonna learn about, and I like this phrase, cosmic noon. The fundamental forces of nature, large scale structure of the universe. Black holes. You already know the whole story of dark matter. I definitely don't. <laughs> and now it's coming out. It's gonna be a real podcast in the world, both like in your ears, but also a video podcast in case you prefer that kind of thing. I'll put some links in the doobly-doo. Also, I've been working on Crash Course Religions that's right, we're going to do a crash course in world religions for the first time ever. I'm not at all nervous about that. It doesn't seem like it's at all dangerous to my reputation. Now, Hank, I will tell you a little secret. I think you and I both need to find a better work-life balance. I'm hiding. You can't see me. You have no idea where I am. I think we need to find a better work-life balance, but it reminds me of a prayer by St. Augustine, my all-time favorite prayer, actually. He said, Lord... Make me chaste, but not yet. Lord, make me work-life balanced, but not yet. Turtles all the way down out May 2nd. Crash Course The Universe podcast out tomorrow. Crash Course Religions coming a little later this year. Hank, I will see you on Friday.